We now have a tip section mounted in the collet and we're ready to, just about ready to start our wraps. But first I want to explain what we, uh, what we want to do. Now this is an illustration of the wrap that is going to be at the extreme tip of the, of the rod. On that particular wrap it's going to have a one-aught uh, snake guide. There's going to be two manual wraps that I put on before I start rotating the rod. And then on the 35th wrap we're going to have a single uh, trim wrap and then we're going to have uh, four more wraps and 39 is going to be the last wrap. Now we want, what we want to achieve here is to have the, the wraps thicker down near the ferrule and become progressively narrower as we go to the uh, tip. Now here's a diagram of what we're talking about. Here's the one aught uh, uh, snake guide up at the tip and it's going to have 39 total wraps. On the 35th wrap uh, there's going to be a trim wrap and we're going to be starting with two manual wraps. So that is the, that is the narrowest wrap. The one next to it, a number one, is going to have uh, three wraps greater and the next one is going to have six wraps greater than the tip, the next one nine, the next one plus twelve, the next one plus fifteen, and the, the one closest to the ferrule is going to be eighteen wraps greater in length. And that's the one that we're going to be working on next. Now we prepared a story stick that has on it uh, marked all the positions of the guides that we're going to be using and this red mark down here is the end of the of the uh, ferrule tips and uh, that's going to be the one that we're going to use to align with the with the rod. Here is the here is the first guide it's a number two and you notice on here I said we're going to have plus 18 wraps Here's another number two, the second guide, it's going to have plus 15. This one is another one, plus 12. Another one, plus 9, plus 6. And then the number one guide, uh, plus 3. And the final guide is going to have plus 0, and it's going to be the narrowest wrap, and it's a one aught. So with that, I'm going to take this story stick, and I'm going to mount it in the cradle and gently wrap it or gently uh, clamp it. Now I'm going to turn the the laser on and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put the laser right on the end of the ferrule tabs and then I'm going to move the story stick such that that red mark is lined up with a laser. And we're going to clamp it down. Now we're going to go, go back here, and line up the laser with the mark on the story stick, and the laser mark on here is going to be the center line of the first guide. And we're going to change the orientation of the camera a little bit so you can better see what we're doing. Now here we've already have the snake guide mounted on the on the rod and we've got two wraps of thread on it already. And uh let's just move move the carriage, align it with the with the mark on the story stick. You can see the laser is uh perfectly centered on the guide itself. Now let's go back and do some wrapping. This is what we we call the climb angle in, indicator. And when that thread is direct, I'm going to turn off the laser 
because we don't need it, when that thread is directly over the red mark, then I know that the thread is at right angles <coughs> to this excuse me, to the center line of the rod. <coughs> and I'm going to start wrapping right there. Now, that wrap ended up going to the to the right and it should have been going to the left, so I'm going to back up and I'm going to start over and I'm going to change that climb angle a little bit so that it's not as close. I'm going to go on the first mark and now I'm going to start wrapping. And now we're getting a wrap that is pretty close together. Uh, just to illustrate, I'm going to move over to a much greater climb angle and now you can see what's happening. We're making an actual spiral on the rod. So once you get used to a certain kind of thread, you'll know exactly where you want to set this in order to have the, uh, the, the tightest wrap. So what we're going to do now is go back to the second wrap. Okay. I'm looking at the meter, you can't see it. There. We're now at the second wrap, and uh, I'm going to change the orientation of the uh, camera so that you can see both the wrapping and the, uh, and the counter. Okay, we're back with you. Uh, we've got the guide on. We've got two initial wraps on it. Uh, now I'm going to... Uh, Set the counter to zero, and we're going to put about 10 wraps on, and then we're going to, um, and we're going to reverse and compress these wraps. And now we're going to put on, well, we're going to go up to 18. If you'll remember on the story stick it says at 18 we are going to zero the counter. So again I'm going to compress and we'll put on about 10 wraps. Adjust the angle a little bit. There's about 10 back up, one revolution, compress, you know I over wrapped there because I didn't adjust the climb angle soon enough. Now I'm back on. There's another 10 reps. Compress. Okay, we're at 30, and remember we said the first trim wrap was going to be at 35, so we're at pretty near there, a little over 35. I'm going to compress.
and now we're right at 35. Now I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to put a mark close to the uh, close to the guide foot. I'm going to take that black mark which you should be able to see on the video. Now it's right over the guide. Now I'm going to back up another full turn from 33.57 to 32.57 and I'm going to put another mark right on the on the marker bar and now I'm going to color in between those two and Okay, that should do it. And be a good time to cut this tag end off. And now we put that trim wrap on. We said we're going to end at 39. I'm a little over 40, but I'm going to back up and, and pack it. And I'm going to back up to about 36. And I'm going to put in my pull loop. I go back up to about 40 again. Compress. Here I'm at 39 or close to it. Now I'm going to take the thread, park it up here, cut it off, bring it through the pull loop. Hold it tight. Pull it through. And we've got a nice one turn trim wrap within four wraps of the end. Now what I would do, I would move to the next guide and again do the left hand guide, go all the way down on the left hand side and then come back on the right hand side and uh, finish it up. Now I know you can't see this too well on here so on the next slide we're going to show you what this looks, uh, looks like close up. Here I'm going to demo how I make a uh, single turn uh, trim wrap. Now let's just imagine that the, um, the snake guide is right here and we've, we've been wrapping down the foot of the snake guide and we're to the point where we want to put a trim wrap in in about uh, five or six more wraps of the base color. So first thing I'm going to do is put a piece of French tinsel in here which is going to be our our trim wrap and I'm going to put oh a half a dozen wraps on it enough to secure it fairly well and now what we're going to do is I don't want that to pull through so I'm going to put a piece of tape over on this side also just to make sure it doesn't pull through. And then I'm going to take a miniature clothespin and hang it on here for weight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to back up. We're going to be taking off uh, the base thread and wrapping on in the opposite direction the, uh, the French tinsel. So I'm going to get it up here to this point, 
pack it in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the thread over the French tinsel. I'm going to have to move the climb angle a little bit to get it to get right. And now we got it on the other side. Now I'm going to take the, the weight off of it so I don't pull it out. And normally I would put about five wraps of base color at the end. So, and again, I haven't counted these real accurately. I just want to show you the basic technique. That's about what it should look like in the finished product. So I'm going to back up now, oh, up to that point, which is about two wraps, and I'm going to put the pull, pull loop in. And we're going to finish this puppy off. Again, I got more wraps than I need, but I'm going to back up and pack it in. That's about where I want it. I get the pole loop up where I can work it, go up here, park the thread, cut it off, go through the loop. Pull it tight and pull the thread through the pole loop. Now we've got a nice, neat looking trim wrap, topped off with uh, about four wraps of base color on the other side. Simple matter to cut this off. Same way with this one. There we go. This is a more traditional way to tie intermediate um, wraps. Uh, as you can see here, between this guide and this guide, we're going to put in three wraps. We've transposed the position of the guide down to the story stick. This is the edge of one wrap, and this is the edge of the other wrap. We've divided this space into four and located with a blue marker the three points or the three positions of the uh, intermediate wraps. So the first thing we're going to do is to put a pull loop on here and I'm just going to tape it in place and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to get the thread and I'm going to bring it around twice. Hopefully you can see this and my hands are not in the way with two around now I'm going to raise the thread up, bring it over the, the two wraps, and now I'm going to wrap uh, a total of four wraps. So there is one, or that's three now, and there is four, and now at this point I'm going to take this tag end and move it over to the right because I don't want to wrap over it for the last turn. There we go. 
we've got five wraps on there. Here's your pull loop. So I'm going to grab the thread, I'm going to go up, lock it into the thread keeper, cut it off, and I'm going to thread it through the loop. If I can grab it. There we go. I got it. So I got it here. Now we're going to take the pull loop and pull that through. Now we've got a nice intermediate wrap. We can tighten it up with um, our thumbnails. And now we got to see whether it's located in the right position. The labor isn't on the mark down here. I'll put it on the blue mark. That means we've got to move it over about a quarter of an inch. And it's just a simple matter to do that. And then tighten it up again. And we'll cut these off at about one inch.